Hello and thank you for watching Scumbag Customs. In this video I will use this ogre head that I have already prepared to demonstrate my basic technique for painting eyes. Painting eyes is a very small but important detail. It can really make or break your miniature. Before I start painting I will try to demonstrate the two different techniques using this little drawing. The first technique is quite simple. You just make a line from top to bottom, kind of like a cat's eye. This is the easiest technique and can be achieved with a very fine brush just going up to down. Using the cat's eye technique is a very good way to start from there you can try and expand to a more complete full iris. Again, you can achieve this by just making lines, but you can also try and dab very lightly. Now, it may look very easy on this scale, but I think you all know how difficult this is in reality. For painting the eyes on my ogre, I'm going to keep it very basic. I will only be using black, white and some Lamian medium to help thin them. I am going to start by painting the whole eye black. I'm going from left to right and then I will go depending what is easier for me to hold it. But it's going to be more of a wider line. It is okay if you overdo it a little bit. We can adjust this later by adding some more skin color. Once your black paint has dried, we can move to white. With the white, we will paint the same shape, but a little bit smaller. This will create a black outline around the eye. Make sure you don't thin your white paint too much because you don't want to let it flow in everywhere. As you can see, we have now a black outline around a white eyeball. So now it is time for the most difficult part, going back to black and putting in the iris. For this part, it is important to stay very patient. Don't try 
to paint the eye at once. It's okay if you need to try a couple of times. Just try and be patient. And remember, if you make a mistake, you can go back to white and start over. Now I will try to mix the same skin color again so I can cover up where I've put too much black. And there you have it, the head is finished. Sometimes you might notice that it's easy to make one really good looking eye, but very difficult to get the other one to line up. What I do if that happens, I sometimes just leave the other eye blank. It is very common for people on the battlefield to just lose an eye in battle just make sure that it's a small percentage of your force you don't want to end up with an entire army of people with only one good eye this concludes my tutorial thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video if you have any questions please leave a comment if you want to support my channel, please subscribe and feel free to share my videos on your social media.